reasons, logic, I just do it because I'm having fun! <laughs> Back to Jimson Games. I'm your host Jimson, and welcome to Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, if you remember last time, I know it's been a while since last time, but you know it's not that hard. Well, not it, you. You probably saw it. So, but anyways, uh, if you remember, we uh, went to the end. We're looking for Soren to get the F bomb, and we come across a full wool version of the overworld and this needs ah uh, oh god I hate that that feeling that you're gonna sneeze and nothing happens I hate that but anyways let's get into it let's see what wonders wait for us here let's talk to Petra see how she's doing Hey, Petra. So, on a scale of uh to uh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. And the lag sets in. I really need a new computer. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with like a million carrots. <laughs> Just no comment on that? How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. Yeah. And relatively So I'm probably impressive, looking actually. for... Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. Yeah, that's true. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. Okay then. I can't go that way. Uh, let's go across the bridge. Hmm. Look at wall. Thank you. Looks kind of like clouds made out of glass. Yeah, it does. You know, there it is. Thank you. It sounds like the music is coming through the wall. See what uh, Olivia and Axel has to say. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's uh, up, Jesse? What? Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior, we have no idea. Good analysis. Try, you know, talking to him. I'll do that. Planned on doing that anyways. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Um, so Ruben's just staring at pink wool. Hey, Ruben. Hmm. 
You doing okay, buddy? <laughs> High five, Reuben. Gotta do it. <laughs> awesome. High five the pig. Checked off the bucket list. I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? What's that, boy? You see something over there? Well, well I'm everything keep looks looking. points to the awkward looking cloud. And yes, I know that's the key to get out, so. I just goes right back to yeah. looking at the pink wall. I want to pet Reuben. I haven't gotten that option yet. You like that, don't you, boy? <laughs> I don't know why the game is lagging like it is. Sometimes the mouse likes to move, sometimes it doesn't. Well, at least that's not made of wool. Yeah. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. Or there's just a water block at the top there. Alright, let's see what the hell's biting at Lucas. What do you want? Petra's worried about you. Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But... Mm, like a cactus. Jesse, I think something's wrong. With Petra. Stacked up. I mean, you have to have noticed. The lack of energy... Labored breathing. I'm not saying anything. There's something wrong. Okay, something big. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Not saying anything again. Because Petra wants. Okay, so I tell you what's bothering me, and now you have nothing to say about it? Yep. Just leave me alone. If I had told him, Petra would be mad at me. If I told him anything else, he'd be pissed at me. At least this way, I'm neutral. What do you want? Lucas, no matter how upset you get, you've got to keep it together. I know. I do. I just... Come on, man. What's your problem, Lucas? You know what? Never mind. Alright, let's see what else there is before I get to solving this. And this mouse is starting to get on my nerves. I want to try something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, you may notice uh, a difference in some of the texture. I went in, turned the quality down, so it should run better. I mean, it looks awful, but like, at least it's running better. Let's get to looking around. And close up on my chest. 
And that's all there is to see. Alright, let's get to opening this wall. If I can make it work better, and now I can't use it still. Neat! Yup. I, I think I might need to tell Petra about Lucas knowing that she's sick. Hey. Didn't mean to pause it there. Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. I'm trying to hide it as best I can, but... It's about time to you stop take care hiding of you. It. I'll take care of Lucas. I'll be back. I'll be here. Okay, then. Here. Cool. There we go. And three is the charm. We go. Thank you. What do you want? Uh, I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Fine. That wasn't too hard, was it? Wow. That, I might just switch it back to high quality because that is this. Walking one foot to the left? Nope. I think I got that covered. Yeah, good job, smartass. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go uh, set it back. I'd much rather play with the lag. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I wish it was a medium setting. That would be nice. But, I, I switched it back. It looks a lot better. Hopefully, the game will start, you know, running better. Alright, let's push this button. Oh god. Oh, indigestion again. Lovely. That's weird. Hey everyone, I think I found Soren's way out! to Weirdoville in three, two, one. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. Yeah, that's fine. When I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor. Or when I got that skull. I'm just happy you're with us. Yeah. And alive. I would say well, but we all know how that's We'll check out the out. rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. This is really dark. Okay. Time out. I'm going to go see if I can't turn the brightness up now. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Turns out I have the brightness all the way up. This is as bright as it gets. So let's see about what we can find here. Look at the fountain. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. No? Not that the outside was actually the outside. It was the inside of the outside. 
take a look around, see what there is to see. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. <laughs> That's it about moving the surface down here. Oh, so I have to go this way. Oh, well, there's a uh, there's music. I can't talk to either of them. Before I go in there, where's the rest? Where's everyone else? I mean, I want to see what they have to say. And I can't go anywhere. Oh, looks like I have to open up the door. Open up this? Nope. Alright, let's, uh, let's listen to it. Well, the music's louder. But I don't hear anyone talking in there. Let's see what's going on behind this door. Yep. Behind the mysterious music. Symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observed yeah. one Soren. block on top of another block. <laughs> Rudimentary, yes, but what a the? sign of undeniable intelligence. It's just a recording. Well then. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> Knows this happened After before. all <laughs> that, he's not even here. I, 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 I better eat something. I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? Can't give up now. We're so close, I can taste it. <sighs> I don't think so, Jesse. Unless Soren recorded instructions for how to find the Formidabomb, this is the end of the road. No, we saw him come up here, so shut your mouth. He didn't. Maybe there's something well, useful on this record. Our next step so is can to figure out whether they might be able about. to be persuaded to build collaboratively. Hmm. All right, let's take a look. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. <laughs> I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Hmm. Hide oh, among them. I hide among them. coming on. Uh. Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about. them? It's quite possible. Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. But even if you could, why would you want to? You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? That would be really cool. I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. All right, let's actually look around before we actually look at that. Apparently something in here. Okay, talk to Olivia. Hey, Olivia. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looked huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. That's true, and I would love to see the rest of the mansion. Let's see if there's anything in the chest. Found something. Uh, blueprints. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But 
Why would someone as brilliant as Sauron need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Sauron. They're for the Endermen. Okay. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. An apple painting. I'm no art snob, but meh. Eh. <laughs> he's alright. He's not bad. So these are clay, not wool. Oh, Those instructions them. called for clay blocks, just like this one. Okay. Well, let's, let's grab the clay. I'll take this one too. <gasps> Ooh. Okay then. I meant to, you know, look at these. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or <clears throat> wait a second. Looks like a taller one was hanging there, but it's missing. Because Soren must be wearing it. This is the disguise he was talking about. You mean... In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Makes sense. Okay, so... If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. Yep. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. Guess it's time to play dress up. Not yet. We don't have all the clay blocks. Let's see what's up the ladder. Dang it, quit pausing it. <sighs> it's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. There he is. That's three I've grabbed so far. I keep on pausing it for some reason. But yeah, I've, I've already found him. I'll put a little thing there to let you know. What's over here? Nothing. A game of Where's Waldo? So I got three. The blueprint calls for one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't check those up there. Can't get to them. Hmm. Well, there's one. That's four. Take this one too. Don't need two more then. Where are they? The one in the stove. Can I even look in the stove? Nope. Only talk to Olivia. Oh, there it is. Looks like this is the last block in here. Okay, so. There we go. Let's see what Ruben has to say. 
You find anything useful? <clears throat> worth asking. Yeah. Always worth asking. Let's go see about those other recordings on the wall. See what they have to say. Totemic constructions of peaceful endermen. Hmm. Could endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things. Only hitting me with their fists. <laughs> repeatedly. Meanwhile, peaceful Endermen will move blocks from place to place, on and on, seemingly ad infinitum, until they somehow achieve satisfaction and teleport away. Clearly, this will require further detailed observation. I am so, so lonely. Well then, uh, I'm gonna go through these and then I'm gonna end the episode. Save the actual running around. Enderman for observations later. part twenty seven. I have been watching the Enderman up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Thank you for not, uh, sharing that part. The folly of pumpkins? That sounds like a really good song. Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Enderman from attacking me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior. As if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true nature. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures. And, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, my entire cache of pumpkins has now been baked into delicious pies. <clears throat> well then, at least he has plenty to eat. Calls of the Enderman. <clears throat> Sounds like wheezing. He's sick. And finally, an Enderman love song. It's all just fascinating. If you say so, dude. Alright, I'm gonna leave it off there. Like, favorite, subscribe, share it with your friends, and it all helps me out. Um... So, I just lost everything. Um, okay, so like I said, like, favorite, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, I'll see you about uh, uploading. I, I may change my schedule a little bit, maybe. Um, once every couple of days or so, give me a little bit of rest time. Uh, as soon as I start you know, getting more subscribers, getting more views, stuff like that, and once I actually get me a better freaking computer, I want to start doing two a day, once I actually get to where, you know, I can live off of this, and I don't have to work to, you know, survive, uh, once I get to that point, I'm going to do two a day, every day. Uh, 
but until then, I will just probably do either one a day, one every other day, or, you know, two or three a week. Not sure which, uh, it'll probably be one every other day. So, on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.